Two months ago, an eight-year-old boy lost his little brother and mom in what was supposed to be a double murder-suicide inside the town of Montfort. 27-year-old Morgan Slate shot both her sons in the head before turning the gun on herself. But Joseph Slate survived and day by day is making a slow but steady recovery in part thanks to the support from his community. Leah Linshot joins us now to explain, Leah. Eric and Michelle, the people who first responded to Joey's home in Montfort that Friday night haven't stopped thinking about it, and they haven't stopped thinking about Joey either. In fact, deputies from the Grant County Sheriff's Department are keeping close tabs on him through his recovery. A lot of emotion, a wide range of emotion. A feeling of loss. That's what first responders remember most about a cold Friday night when they arrived on Main Street in Montfort. A lot of sadness, um, being very angry, being very confused. All four of us here have young children, and I think it's one of those things that hit home for all of us. These Grant County deputies walked in on a mother and her two young sons, all three with gunshot wounds to the head. Eight-year-old Joey was still alive, but barely. His younger brother, six-year-old Jackson, was not. Really, it's not something that you ever really get over. I think it's something that you always remember. First responders all went through critical stress debriefing and relied on each other to get through the following weeks. But maybe the best medicine came a little later when the deputies made a special visit to the hospital. I walked around the other side of him and he reached up and grabbed my hand. And that, to me, I mean, that just pulled up my heart. Seeing the condition that he was in that night and then to where he is now, and being able to see that progression is just immensely helpful to me. Joey's condition is improving steadily. He gave us high fives. He was able to put uh, puzzles together. Better news than any of these deputies could have hoped for. We didn't expect him to live. I didn't. I don't think these guys did either. No one did. They think that uh, he's going to have a, a bright future and be able to, to have some quality of life. These deputies take none of the credit for helping to save Joey's life that night. Instead, they say Joey's recovery has helped save them. We might not ever know the why, you know, but it's pretty inspiring to see, you know, Joey, who has been through so much and, you know, pretty much beat all the odds. Joey was recently transferred to a hospital in Oklahoma, and he's continuing to beat the odds. His doctors have set goals for him to walk and even talk. And those sheriff's deputies are still helping Joey. They, they bought him an iPod, iPad to help him with his communication skills and therapy, and they say they'll continue to stay in touch with Joey and his family. So still making us proud and doing a really great job along his recovery. Boy, great job from those deputies. We wish him the absolute best. The story Leah Lynch had has covered from the day it happened. Leah, thank you very much. You're welcome.